What's up, guys? Mr. Sorkin here in Comic Con, San Diego Comic Con, happened today. And even though it's the first day and not the best day for Comic Con in terms of like what's coming down the line and huge announcements, we still got some pretty good news. So I'm here to cover them. So let's get started. So DC came out of this running by releasing the Titans. <sighs> I can't talk today. Trailer for the streaming service. The trailer focuses on the Titans and doesn't really show the villains, so right now I'm kind of confused if it's Trigon or Blackfire, because I've heard sources about both. We saw Raven, Beast Boy, little, very little Hawk and Dove, and Robin. Robin, Hawk and Dove have the best costume. And Starfire, uh, it doesn't look good. Starfire does not look good. Beast Boy does not look good. We haven't seen much of them. It's not much of a teaser. I wish they showed us more. Raven, I'm on the fence about it. It's like, oh, the costumes don't look good. They really don't. They really don't. But this release is on the DC streaming service in 2019. It's the first of DC's huge announcements this week for Comic-Con, for film and television. So, as a second point, it's not a bad one. Now to cover the one I was blown away by. I was looking at my phone and was like, wait, why is, why is Clone Wars trending? And then I looked at it and I found out. So Clone Wars has their 10th anniversary panel today to celebrate the 10th anniversary of the show first airing, which makes me feel old because I saw when I was relatively younger. And they officially announced today that the show will be coming back. We are not, it's not very clear if it's coming on Netflix or Cartoon Network or um, Disney XD. The show will be coming back and I can't wait to see it. It has the original cast, original animators. It's, it's going to be phenomenal. Um... I think I, if I was going to attend Comic Con that year, that definitely would be one of the panels I would attend to because you got a free poster. Marvel coming now kind of short today. Um, with the 10 year of Marvel Studios, where they were kind of just talking about like the costume design and kind of the development of the films, but they did announce that in 2019, spring 2019, we're getting a book set called Marvel Studios: The First 10 Years. Which looks pretty cool. I'm probably going to buy it just to say like I got it. But it looks pretty cool. Um, it's going to show image stills. It's going to talk about some of the development of the films. And I can't wait for that to release. Better Call Saul had its panel today for season 4. And my goodness it looks awesome. Better Call Saul is one of the better shows I've been watching. I don't watch Breaking Bad. And it officially did confirm that Ch um, Chuck is dead. After his suicide last year. Which is going to be interesting. The show comes back on this August. In the morning. Well, I don't know, in the afternoon. And I cannot wait for that show to come back on. I've been waiting. I rewatched seasons for it. It's a great show. Definitely worth the wait. Next up, Marvel Games. Marvel Games revealed two, a couple of new games. One, um, where you scan comics and you get cards and you bow. But that was not the joy of the Comic Con convention for that. No, sir. It was the Spider Man PS4 gameplay where we got a new story trailer showing off Silver Stable. And Norman Osborn. I can't wait for that. But not only that, but they revealed the final DLC suit, which is the Velocity skin. And they actually had someone cosplay and come in to the convention dressed up as a suit. That was pretty awesome. Now, the last panel to end things off was none other than. Are you going to wait for it? You're going to wait for it, aren't you? It was the Iron Fist panel. Now, Iron Fist was kind of a hit miss with some people, but people are saying, based on what we saw, it looks pretty good right now. I'm not going to lie. I've heard good things about it. So we got revealed about Alice E's character. You know, the girl from Star Trek. You know, yeah, you're looking at that image right now. She's playing Ty Typhoid Mary, who I imagine is going to be the main villain if um, da Davos is not the main villain. Now, Davos is still Serpent, but we've had, had clips of her, him appearing in the show. And also, Misty Knight is joining the cast of, um, of Iron Fist. So we're actually going to have the, uh, um, dar the Daughters of Dragons coming on, which I cannot wait. Which is going to be pretty cool. Um, I haven't watched Luke Cage Season 2, so hopefully she's good in that. I'm, I'm going to watch Luke Cage se Season 2 now, because now I have to watch... Um, Iron Fist Season 2. Iron Fist Season 2 is coming out September 7th, and I cannot wait. So I'm sorry this one was kind of short, but let's face it, um, there wasn't much that happened today. Um, there's some show floor stuff, which are kind of the booze for people, like, signing stuff. 
Um, and yeah, um, tomorrow is going to be better mainly because just, Young Justice Outsiders is coming tomorrow. I want to say, I don't want to confirm because I will be like really wrong. Um, the Flash is supposed to come on season five. I want to check what that is. The Comic Con. I don't. I'm. I. I want to say it's tomorrow, but I highly doubt it. Probably going to be. If it is tomorrow, I'm. I will spit all out. Um. I see it. What day? 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 It's going to be Saturday. Oh, that is hurtful. Yeah, it's Saturday. That is hurtful. Ha. I don't care, but I will cover every comic book day. Every city of Comic Con Day. So, see you guys then. That's it for me. Bye. Rex, what's so important that you brought us all the way back here? Hello, Master. It's been a while. 